Hi there, students. Limp. Okay, limp can be both a verb and an adjective. Um, but the meanings are completely different. So, to limp, a verb. To be lame. To, if you've got an injury in one leg, if you twist your ankle, then you limp. Um, the player limped off the pitch, okay, so to walk lamely, to um, walk with difficulty because you've got an injury or you something is painful. And then limp as an adjective, it means um, something that's soft, it's not rigid, it it's hangs down, so for example a lettuce leaf, if you leave it in the fridge for a couple of days, it'll go limp. And this is the idea of limp. Um, he gave me a very limp handshake. Okay, so it's something that's lost its osmotic pressure. Yeah, it's um, soft and flaccid, not stiff and firm. Um, Mm, wh when wh when the boxer punched him, he went limp and collapsed onto the floor. Okay, so limp, not stiff, not rigid, loose and slack. Okay, so to limp, to walk w with uh, a, an injury, yeah, to walk from side to side. But you can use this um, metaphorically. Um, for example, uh, if you've got a problem with your car, maybe um, the, the, the car was running really badly and uh, the car limped to the nearest garage before um, it conked out, before it stopped working. So, to proceed with difficulty. Um, the aircraft... Uh, um, Ha, uh, had a mechanical problem with one of the engines and it limped back to the airport. Yeah, so it's damaged, the, the engine is damaged to proceed with difficulty. And then you can also use this um, meaning not to proceed as planned, to proceed slowly. So the project is limping forward. Yeah, um, the student is not doing very well. He's limping along, but uh, he's not making the best of progress. Okay, so to limp, to walk with difficulty unevenly, yeah, to hobble, yeah, or to shuffle perhaps. But then also a vehicle uh, limps along. It continues slowly and with difficulty because it's damaged. The business limped along. It uh, continued to move, but uh, to go forward, but not very well. Uh, not not str not with strength. Yeah, so it moved on um, unsteadily. Um, and then limp. Okay, uh, having lost its rigidity. Yeah. Um, if you've got long hair, when it's wet, it goes limp. It hangs. That hangs down. Yeah. Or something that lacks strength and vigor. Yeah. Or it lacks effectiveness. Um, so the uh, um, the limp economic policy of the government. You also have a phrase limp wristed. Um, meaning something w with that, with that, without uh, stro strong effect, something that's very ineffe ineffectual. Yeah, it, it it doesn't really work. Um, you you ought to be doing something stronger. So the legislation is fairly limp wristed because the government didn't want to upset voters. Yeah, uh, it was so limp, without strength, lacking stiffness, yeah, hanging down. Okay, so let's see, formality, to limp. Yeah, he, limp, uh, he limped home, physically, five in formality. Although I think if you're using this as 
more metaphorically, the car limped to the garage, the ship limped into port, the business is limping along. I think I'd probably give it four in formality. I wouldn't use limp in that sense in something very formal, but anywhere else, yes. And then um, a limp lettuce leaf, or a, a yeah, a wilted lettuce leaf. The leaves of the plant uh, uh, hung limp because it needed water. I think probably five in formality. Uh, limp wristed policy, maybe four point five of informality. Don't use anywhere very formal. Okay, and then as to origin, okay, so uh, if you're lame and you can't walk properly, this comes from Proto-Germanic, limpana, to hang down, from Proto-Indo-European, slem, to, uh, or sleb, to hang down, or to hang loosely. Um, and then uh, limp, as in hanging down, not, uh, not stiff. Um, comes from Proto-Germanic limpana, again, to hang down. So the origin of the two meanings is the same. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Limp.